The 20th century, a time of great innovation and discovery gave birth to a device that would forever change the world, the television. As we step back in time, we find ourselves in the early 1920s, an era brimming with invention and technological progress. It was during this time that the seeds of the television were first sown. The concept of transmitting moving images via radio waves was not just science fiction anymore. Two key innovators, John Logie Baird and Philo Farnsworth, played instrumental roles in bringing this concept to life. John Logie Baird, a Scottish inventor, is often credited as the inventor of the mechanical television. Baird's system, which he demonstrated in 1926, was based on the Nipkow disk, a rotating disk that allowed for the mechanical scanning of images for transmission. Although his system was ultimately superseded by electronic television, Baird's pioneering work laid the groundwork for what was to come. Across the Atlantic, Philo Farnsworth, a young inventor from Utah, was also working on his vision of television. Unlike Baird's mechanical system, Farnsworth's design was fully electronic. In 1927, Farnsworth made his first successful transmission of an image, a simple line, paving the way for the development of the electronic television systems that we are familiar with today. The world got its first glimpse of the television at the 1939 World's Fair in New York. RCA, the Radio Corporation of America, introduced the electronic television to the public, marking a significant milestone in the history of this medium. The television was no longer a laboratory curiosity, it was a commercial product, ready to enter the homes of the public. By the end of World War II, television was on its way to becoming a household necessity, setting the stage for a revolution in how we consume media. As the television made its way into homes across the globe, the 1950s marked what many considered the golden age of television. During this era, television programming underwent a significant evolution, bringing an array of new genres into the living rooms of millions. Variety shows became the order of the day, with programs like The Ed Sullivan Show and Your Show of Shows, keeping audiences entertained with a mix of comedy skits, musical performances, and celebrity appearances. These shows served as a melting pot of entertainment, combining the allure of Hollywood with the intimacy of radio. Meanwhile, sitcoms also started to gain traction, offering a lighter and often humorous look at life. Shows like I Love Lucy and The Honeymooners introduced us to lovable, relatable characters, proving that laughter truly is the best medicine. These sitcoms not only entertained but also reflected the social norms and values of the time, subtly shaping the public's perception of family and societal roles. News broadcasts, too, became a staple of the television landscape. As television sets became more commonplace, news programs provided a fresh visual way for people to stay informed. This marked a significant shift in how news was consumed and shared, bringing a new level of immediacy and intimacy to global events. Perhaps one of the most significant milestones of this era was the shift from black and white to color television. Suddenly the world was not just in shades of gray but was presented in all its vibrant, colorful glory. This technological leap added a new dimension to television viewing, making the experience more immersive and captivating. The golden age of television was not just about entertainment, it was about innovation, storytelling and community. It was a time of exploration and experimentation, of pushing boundaries and challenging norms. It redefined what television could be and do, setting the stage for an era of quality, innovation and variety in programming. This period laid the groundwork for what was yet to come, proving that television was not just a passing fad, but a powerful medium that would continue to evolve and captivate audiences for decades to come. In the 1980s and 90s, television underwent another major transformation with the advent of cable and satellite broadcasting. The once limited, network-dominated television sphere was suddenly bursting with a wealth of viewing options. This was thanks to the proliferation of cable and satellite channels, which provided viewers with an unprecedented choice of programming. Imagine this, it's the mid-80s, and for the first time, viewers were not restricted to three or four channels. They had dozens, even hundreds, to choose from. This expansion was akin to a television revolution, giving the power of choice back to the viewers. One of the key developments during this period was the birth of the first 24-hour news channel. This was a game-changer for news consumption, allowing the public to stay informed around the clock. No longer were viewers confined to evening news broadcasts. With this 24-hour news cycle, information was accessible at all hours, making the world feel a little bit smaller and a lot more connected. But it wasn't all news and current events. 
The entertainment industry saw a shift too. The rise of premium cable networks marked a new era in television programming. Channels like HBO and Showtime began to produce their own original content, pushing the boundaries of what could be achieved on the small screen. These networks took risks, creating edgy, sophisticated programming that appealed to a more discerning viewer. The effects of this revolution were far-reaching. It changed the way we consume media, and it changed the industry itself. With more channels and more competition, television had to evolve. It had to be better, bolder, and more innovative. This era of television was about more than just entertainment. It was about choice, control, and the power of the viewer. Cable and satellite forever changed the television landscape, offering viewers more choice and control than ever before. As we moved into the new millennium, the evolution of television technology accelerated at an astounding pace. This era, my friends, is where we see the transition from analog to digital broadcasting. The change wasn't just about sharper images and clearer sound. No, it was a fundamental shift in how television content was delivered, stored, and consumed. Picture this. In the analog days, television signals were transmitted through the air, much like a radio wave. These signals were prone to interference resulting in those fuzzy images we now associate with vintage TV. But with the advent of digital broadcasting, television signals transformed into a series of ones and zeros, much like the data on your computer. This change brought with it higher quality audio and video, and also introduced us to high definition television. Suddenly we were seeing our favorite shows and films in vibrant color and stunning detail, making our viewing experiences more immersive and enjoyable. But the digital revolution didn't stop there. As the internet became more accessible and widespread, it paved the way for the rise of streaming platforms. Remember when you had to adjust your schedule to catch the latest episode of your favorite show? Well, those days were soon behind us. Streaming platforms introduced the concept of on-demand viewing, giving us the freedom to watch what we want, when we want. Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hulu, these became the new powerhouses in television, offering a vast library of content at our fingertips. This shift towards on-demand viewing made television more personal and customizable. We no longer had to abide by network schedules or sit through endless commercials. We could create our own viewing schedules, binge watch entire seasons in a weekend, and discover new shows from around the world. In the digital era, television has become more personal and customizable than ever, fundamentally changing how we interact with our screens. This is the era where television truly became a reflection of our individual tastes and preferences. It's an exciting time and who knows what the future holds. Throughout its evolution, television has not only reflected society, but also shaped it in profound ways. It has been more than just a source of entertainment. It has been a mirror, a guide, a window to the world. Let's delve into how television has impacted our culture. From the early sitcoms to the reality shows of today, television has had a profound influence on our societal norms. The portrayal of families, relationships, and diverse communities on television has shaped our understanding of these concepts. It has broken stereotypes, changed perceptions, and sometimes even set new trends. The influence of television on our culture is so profound that many of us have shared memories and experiences related to the shows we've watched. Who can forget the anticipation of waiting for a new episode of their favorite series, or the collective gasp of a nation when a beloved character met an untimely end? Beyond culture, television has also played a pivotal role in politics. It has brought politicians and their campaigns into our living rooms, shaping public opinion like never before. The power of the television broadcast has been such that it can make or break political careers. It has brought transparency to the political process, but at the same time, it has also been a tool of manipulation and propaganda. Television has been instrumental in spreading information and fostering global connectivity. It has brought the world closer by providing real-time coverage of events happening across the globe. It has given us a sense of shared humanity as we witness triumphs and tragedies together, from the first moon landing to natural disasters and humanitarian crises. From its humble beginnings to the digital era, television continues to evolve, shaping and reflecting our society in ways we could never have imagined. Its impact is undeniable, and as we look to the future, one thing is certain. Television will continue to play a significant role in our lives, our culture, and our society.